Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a good week. I hope that you have had some good weather. And I was thinking on the way back from taking the kids to school that I hate to sound like a weather girl every time I start my video, but the weather just seems to affect my mood so much. And it affects like what I do and what I wear and you know, you're the same way. I guess all girls are. It affects what shoes you wear, then it, what outfit, if you're going to do your hair, and then it just makes you feel like just giving up. You know, yesterday I posted a picture on Instagram. You should have seen the way I looked when I got back home. I had taken that faux fur coat off. I had put on a sweat jacket that was in the floor that Brooke had thrown down. I mean, I had gotten soaked. I had gotten rained on so many times going in and out of everywhere that I had to go, post office, I went to Target, and that'll lead right into one of the things that I got at Target. I got two things at Target that I wanted to show you. Three, three things. And Gina, my friend Gina, I will put her link below. She has not made videos in a long, long time, but she does have some up, so you will know who she is when I talk about her, but we've been friends since the beginning. And, um, she is a silly girl and she is always telling me about things that she likes we tell each other things we like and everything and she was telling me about this and it is the jergens it's here it is i wanted to show you the box so you would know so you would not have the same trouble i did but it's the jergens bb body and i got the all medium and deep skin tones she said that she gets the light and but she I is also like the fairest I believe it's Tati is her name, and I believe it's Glam Life Guru. I heard her, her mention this too. So, with the both of them, I decided to get it, and Gina told me it was L'Oreal. So, I'm looking everywhere for L'Oreal. I've got the salespeople looking for it and everything. Speaking Get the devil. That was her calling. I'm gonna, I'll just call her right back. <laughs> anyway, so, I will not drag out the story. After three places, we realized that it, yes, indeed, it is Jergens that she was using, and so it's everywhere. I saw it at CVS, I saw it at Target, and then I finally got it at Walgreens. And what it is is it it does not say a self tanner. It says five beautifying benefits in, in one moisturizer for a flawless appearance. Let's see, and then it says it hydrates and smooths, brightens and illuminates, even skin tone, visibly firms skin, minimizes the appearance of imperfections doesn't that sound awesome and what will tell you though that it does after a while it's one of those like self-adjusting tanners is it says it has used daily its self-adjusting tone technology delivers a customized solution for your skin tone and for best results use daily as your body lotion massage this sheer formula all over body allowing time to dry dry prior so to you dressing. you can tell Sorry. that it's not a tan per se on my chest. My shirt's crooked here, but it gives it that glowy look and I've only used it one time. I did put on a little bit just now, so hopefully you could see it. And it's really, it smells so good. It has absolutely no self tanner smell. It smells like a moisturizer. I was thinking when I put it on, I said it smells like something you would buy because it smelled so good. And here, let me put some just a tiny bit. I have bought this stuff from like Victoria's Secret before and it had too much shimmer. It's just not like that at all. So here is how it looks. And um, it seems very moisturizing. Goes right in. It smells maybe a little fruity. Like, I don't know, just a little bit, but not. And so it just leaves your skin looking luminous. It's not sparkly at all. It just kind of gives it that of course, I, I put it on this hand before, but um, so anyway, I'll keep you up to date if you don't, I think it was like $12. If you don't want to get it now and try it with me, I will let you know in like a week and you'll be able to see if it's tanned my skin. I'm going to use this and this only for, you know, a week or so and let's see what it does. Let's see if it gives us enough, enough color. So anyway, Jergens BB Body, and there was just two colors, and I got the one for medium. And the skin next tone. thing I got from Target, and I did have to look a little bit for this, is it's like a new, it's new to me, a new lip gloss. And I don't know if these are new colors. It was in a little bit of a different section, but then I think I saw it at Walgreens in the regular section. So it's number 601 Nude Ballet. 
and it is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. And the best thing about it is it smells just like peaches. I mean, it smells so good. When I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. It reminds me of like peach gum. It has that, that smell, but it is a beautiful, you probably won't be able to see. It's very, very nude, but when I, I can't put it on now because I've got peachy tones on now. But um, here, let me see if I just put it on the end of my finger like Tammy does. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is very, very nude. But yet, it's still got a little bit of color, enough to make it look like you have something on your lips. And my plan was today to either put it on with Dior Linen or Lancome Natural Mauve. I think it would look good with both of those liners. But I had not, I would have probably never tried this, but Sherry Curry, one of the girls I was telling you about on Instagram, started making videos. And she's just made two. I think she made a haul and she made a, a nude lip video. And she said this was one of her favorites. And so I, I had most of them that she mentioned. So I went ahead and got that so one. So I think that's all that I got. That, oh no, I got some clothes. Let me go ahead and show you those. So I, I was cruising through. Way. First I was going through our section and especially looking for stuff for Brooke. I ended up getting her. She needed some more of the just long and lean tank tops. She's like me. She wears them every day and sleeps in them. And I just ran across this skirt. And I believe last year I might have gotten a maxi skirt that looks like this. I don't know if I even, I don't know if I sold it or if I even wore it. I just remember that I got it. But this one, I got a medium and it was Mossimo and I believe it was like $19.99. I'm not sure. But this one is that length that I really prefer, like the um, midi. So it, it's not a maxi but it goes right past your knees. And I had one of these last year in black that I wore to death. I mean, it was one of those skirts that I like looked for, you know, all the time because they're so easy to just throw, and they had black ones too, but I was a good girl and just got this one because I've got that other black one. They're just so easy to just throw on and put a tank top on or, you know, anything. And you can dress them up or wear them with flip flops. And they're just a go-to in the summertime. And I was going so I did grab the this. men's section. I was actually looking for, I've been wanting like a black and white plaid button-up shirt. Not necessarily a flannel though. And not, I don't want it to be like gingham check. I just wanted it to be like a plaid. So I was thinking, well, I'll go through the men's section and see what they have. And when I was going through there, they had the best two racks or tables folded of graphic tees. And they really had a few more I would have loved to get, but I ended up just getting this one. And it's the, you know, of course, Rolling Stones little symbol here. But um, I just loved it. And I got a small, and Brooke will probably wear this too. But I was just thinking, I don't know if I'm going to, I might do what mm and L, what they do to their shirts, you know, where you cut the edges off and then you cut the whole neck out and just make it like a loose tank to wear, and then you can wear a tank top under it, and that looks good with jeans and all kinds of stuff in the summertime, so I might do that to it. But, um, and these were only $12.99, and they had some really cute ones. The ones I was, I was tempted to get, I believe they had a Pink Floyd, um, let's see, I know they had like a Coke, and um, I think they had, oh gosh, they had an Einstein, um, Oh, goodness. I can't remember some other band tees and stuff. So, if you're at Target, just cruise through I there. I saw a girl on Pinterest. I don't know. It was probably one of those random pictures. You know, there's so many Pinterest, not Pinterest, but Instagram. There's so many Instagram pages where it's not really the person. It's just a, a person reposting a bunch of pictures. And some of them I really like. And the girl had on bright blue nails. And I have several colors that are similar to this. I think I have a... I think Heidi sent me one and I had a few OPIs, but I really wanted something that was almost neon. Matter of fact, that's what I did was I looked in the neon sections and I couldn't find anything. And I ended up getting this, which is the Maybelline Color Show. And I'll be honest, if the name hadn't have been this, I don't know if I would have been so attracted to it, but it, it was basically what I was looking for. It's called Blue Bombshell and I love that. And it's really pretty. It really is. I don't know if it's prettier than what I had because it's not quite as bright as I wanted, but it still is really pretty. I've gotten lots of compliments. I think this is the third day. But, um, and it was Maybelline, it. so it wasn't that expensive. And then I came across, when I was looking at all the different ones, I came across this brand that Ulta just started carrying, 
and I believe it's supposed to be, it says peptide infused strength. Um, let's see, formaldehyde free, tooling free, it's at three free. Dermalect is the name. And I am just all about this orange color lately. I've always liked orange. And when I think back, I've had, I ended up selling it, but you know, I had bought that orange clutch that was really cool. It was like an ombre effect. And I know I've had orange slingback pumps in the past. And then I've got, I actually got a pair that I'm going to put on my website for sale. The um, Calvin Klein orange shoes. And you'll see why in a little bit. But, and I think last year, a year before, I had a neon orange color that I really liked. That I'll probably use again. But when I saw this, I just went for it. Let's see what it's called. Head Turner. <laughs> so blue bombshell and head turner. And um, so we'll see how this goes, but it's so pretty. It's not an obnoxious orange at all. It would actually look really good on toes or fingers. And um, so I got those two. And then this I debated on taking back because I was like, why did I get this? But it's the Eco Tools Face and Body Sculpting Brush. And I'll go ahead and take it out because I decided I was gonna go ahead and keep it. My thoughts were I was going to use this with my tanner instead of the Kabuki. And I might still, oh my gosh, I have not felt this. This thing, oh my gosh, it is so soft. What in the world? This brush is made with incredibly soft, cruelty-free bristles and a sleek bamboo handle. The multifunctional brush sweeps powder or bronzers to contour from your decollete to your shoulders, neck, and face with buildable coverage. I'm going to keep this for that because I don't know if you guys saw that Kardashians where Kim was in the passenger seat with her mom and she was like dusting something all over her chest. That's what made me think of it. And I thought, well, gosh, that would be so good for any type of highlighter. I love to put like a highlighter on my collarbone and stuff. So, and I believe it was $12. And I think all of us would have fun with that. Like and when, you're, when you're wearing a dress, like run this over with a highlighter just over the fronts of your legs. That looks real pretty. I just can't get over how soft that is. Goodness gracious. Okay, then let's see. I think we're going to now into stuff that I ordered. I am going to mention Sani twice. I'll go ahead and talk about both things right now. I watch Sani, Miss May. I'll put her channel down below all the time. Not only do I like her personality, I think she's awesome. We have a lot of things in common because of our coloring and our style, even our clothes. We like the same things. And she does awesome makeup. She lives in Paris. She's a makeup artist, for those of you that don't already know her. And um, she does iconic blonde looks. She's done, you know, of course, Bridget Bardot. She does, has done the guests at all the looks that I'm just crazy about. And I was watching something again, because I watch her videos over and over to get inspired. I was think I was watching the Guest Girl ad, and she uses this brush all the time. And so I ordered it. We just joined that Amazon Prime, and we are just loving it. Um, you get movies with it, kind of like Netflix, and um, you get fast shipping. And I don't know if it's free or if it, I think it's free three day, and then you can get overnight for like seven ninety nine. And it's just really it's we've loved it so far. So this was on Amazon Prime. And it is the Shu Yamira Specialist Handmade Natural 6M Brush, Sable. And I believe it is considered a lip brush. And when I first got it in the mail, I thought, hmm, you know, that doesn't look like the brush that she was using. And I thought, well, I'll use it as a lip brush. But it is. I went back and checked. And I've used it for my eyeliner, and it actually worked. It didn't work as well as it does with her because I'm not used to it. And I wasn't silly enough to try it <laughs> today because I want to work with it some, but what it is, is you put it in your gel liner and you can get that line and then you turn it to the side and then you have a good side. And it is a really nice brush. You can tell, it reminds me a lot of the Louise Young brushes, just the way it feels, the way it's got, it's soft, but it's still stiff feeling. And um, so I'll let you know how that goes. That's kind of how the Hakuhodo brow brush is too. It's like, the bristles are soft, but you can tell it's just well-made and sturdy and gives you lots of control. So I think this is a neat brush, and it was like $20 some dollars. Take Bridgie out. Um, and that's, like I've said before, that's another thing bad about rainy days is poor Bridgie, which she is so good about using puppy pads if, if she doesn't want to go out. Okay, you know, I got one of these hourglass blushes last week or the week before, and I asked you guys if you thought the peach one would be too light. 
Thank you. Many, many of you told me that you thought it would be, and I, I do think it would be. And several of you, including Michelle, Makeup MLC, told me that I might like the Diffused Heat Ambient Lighting Blush. And I got it, and I do. I think I actually like this better than the other one, which was the Radiant, the one with magenta in it. Now, this one doesn't have as much, it has more of the highlighter than it does the color in it. And I kind of like that, too, because I've been using this, and then if I want a little bit more pop, because I can really take this and just go in like with an angled brush like my Chanel. I love that angled face brush and I can do my whole cheek and then I can actually if I want more of a pop I can go in with one of my you know just plain blushes and then that creates such a pretty glow and highlight. I can say if you're a girl like me and you really like a strong blush and like a you want lots of pigment and color I don't think these are the ones to get, but if you like a glowy, soft-looking blush, which, I mean, if you do it the way I do it, you can get both. <laughs> but um, I do like it, and I, I think I actually like that one better, but I have no urge to, like, get another one. I think I've, you know, done it all. The mood is slightly interesting to me because it looks like it might be almost like a contoury type color, but I'm scared it might look muddy on me, so I'm going to hold off on that. So these two things are the only thing I got from Sephora this week. So many of you have told me that you love this foundation. And I believe I tried it years ago, probably two years ago, and I think I probably had the wrong color. And I have had to return so many things to Sephora lately. I have written them notes. Please, we need a Sephora here, you know. And I think we might get one. I think we might get a JCPenney Sephora. I think that might be on the way. I've heard that, but who knows for real. So I called the Sephora customer service and just asked them to please help me with the color of this. And it is the, I saved the box to show you, the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Foundation. And I just got it Wednesday, I believe. And the color she matched me to is 04 Beige Moyen. And I think before I had gotten the three. And it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful foundation. It reminds me of a Chanel foundation in that it's so smooth and it's real liquidy. Like if I, I'll do a um, swatch. I'm silly me didn't, still didn't bring a, um, but you can see, see it'll start. It's very, but great coverage. I mean, really good coverage to be so thin and perfect color. Just, I mean, a really good here. I'll smooth this out and you can see it on my hand. And I would say natural to dewy finish. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy. So you can see, and it's a good almond type color. It's not too gray, not too tan. I mean, this is too much, obviously. You would shear it out more. But um, beautiful. I love it. I'm just really, really excited about it. When so I was in the bathroom, I looked off. in the mirror and realized I didn't continue my story about Sani. This morning, I was going through my emails and doing all the things I do in the morning, and I clicked on YouTube, and there was a fresh Sani Iconic Blondes video, and it was Barbarella. Now, I think Barbarella was in the, it was in the 60s, late 60s, and I was born in 70, and I don't, I don't know, I have never watched any of that or anything, but I did know that I love the look, and it was a, you know, my typical makeup. So, I did this look today. This is almost identical to what she did. It's the exact same eyeshadows. I had them all. And I forgot how much I loved Mylar as a highlight, but I used Mylar. Um, gosh, some ones I hadn't used in a long time. Copper Plate, um, let's see, Scene, and there's another one that we used. Um, and just the different technique and the liner. I haven't used liner on the bottom in a long time. Um, MAC Prism for blush. And then I even did the, I did two things that were drastically different for me in the face. I didn't use Laura Mercier today at all. I went straight from that Guerlain foundation and then I did what she did. I pulled out a lighter foundation, which was my the Glow Mineral Foundation that Brianna sent me. 
I put that along my jawline and then I even took some of my Rachel K, the new CC Renew powder, which is so smooth. And I did get that in yesterday. I got all my new Rachel K in yesterday. Um, and I took that and just, you know, ran it. So I tried to give myself more of a matte look. Not totally matte, but more than usual. So, and I did my eyebrows like hers. I tried to round them off a little bit more instead of an arch. And what else did we do different? The eyeliner. So I will link that video down below because it's awesome. She did her hair. I tried to tease my hair a little bit. Um, hers is much better because she did the curls and stuff like that. So thank you, Sandy, for that inspiration today. You made my day because I was just dreading. I was like, what am I going to wear? What how am I going to do? Because it's rainy and yucky and we basically had almost hurricane force winds last night. The trash can was over, limbs everywhere. We've had just some really weird weather here in North Carolina. And um, so that was great inspiration, thank you. Okay, I think I have shown you all of my clothes and all of my makeup and I might need to make a part two for this video. I will see, I think I do. So I think I'm gonna just close this and then go on and make a part two for anybody that is interested in shoes. <laughs> if you're not interested in shoes, then have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.